Now, just explain once again um, the thing about, uh, we were talking about when Ronald Reagan was first elect elected, we were talking about 1979 or so, and uh, my information was that he was elected with 27% of the eligible voters in the, in the general election, but would you explain that, how that got to that point? Okay, well, I think this time you said it correctly, it was 27% of the eligible voters. The thing is, when you take 100% of the people who are actually eligible to vote, you have to start with the fact that only half of them are registered. So you're starting out with 50% of the eligible voters being registered to vote. Then when it comes to a hotly contested presidential year, when a lot of voters will come out, only half of those registered voters actually vote in a presidential year. So now you're talking about 25% of the people voted in that election. But you have to remember that half of those people were Democrats, Democrats, and close to half of those people were Republicans. Probably a little bit more because Ronald Reagan won. But if you take it back to the primary elections, only 10% of the eligible voters of the Actually, I'm sorry, of the registered voters turn out for a primary election. And remember, that's only half of the eligible voters, because only half of the eligible voters actually register and vote. So now you're down to 5% of the people that are could actually vote if they were registered deciding that election. If about half of them are Democrats and half of them are Republicans, about 2.5% of the people, of the, the people that are eligible to vote actually uh, made Ronald Reagan the nominee of the Republican Party. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think when they realized that, then they started to ignore certain groups. And then, you know, it, the rest is history. Every election after that, they just kept on targeting certain groups until you, until you get to this point of ultra fear, and now more people are trying to be involved. You can afford to ignore certain groups when they're not registered to vote and when they don't come out to vote. Mm -hmm. You can also suppress the vote by making people afraid. Also, you can make people depressed. That's probably what Trump is trying to do. He thinks if he makes the election a dirty enough thing, a mean enough thing, that people will get disgusted on both sides, and then the election will be determined by an even smaller number of people than usual. And that's probably not a bad strategy for him, because that's probably his best chance to win. Mm. Now, what's your background? You said you used to be a poll worker? I'm a poll worker in New Jersey. Mm, yeah. Now, how long have you been involved in politics? Well, I've been involved in politics since I was about 13 years old when I first mm -hmm. wrote McCarthy on a telephone pole outside in front of my house, <laughs> which you can still see. <laughs> so I've been okay. involved in politics for a long time. And do you that want was to 1968. Do you, do you want to say your, your name? My name is Jim Sagerton. Mm -hmm. I work for WBAI as a volunteer and a member of the Community Advisory Board and the Finance Committee. Okay. Thank you so much, Jim.